So today I have another easy geometric pattern to share with you. Not only is it seamless, but we're going to make two variations of it. So you should have lots of fun with this one. We'll start off with the outline shape version of the pattern. It has a different feel to the second variation, which will be the solid shape option. I'll also show you how to template it so that you can create all kinds of color and texture variations easily and effortlessly each time. So let's dive in. So let's tap the plus icon at the top right of the screen. Then tap the new canvas icon. This brings us into the canvas customization settings. Starting with dimensions, you can set your canvas to any of the four available metrics. I personally prefer pixels and like to set it to 2000 by 2000. And set the DPI to 300. For the next part of the canvas setup, we will select the color profile tab. Here is where it's important to set your canvas color profile to the right setting for your specific project. If your finished pattern will be printed onto products or merchandise, you will need to select a CMYK colour profile. But if you will be using your pattern in digital products or on screen, then you should choose an RGB colour profile. As mine is for the purpose of this video, I will set mine to RGB. Once you've got this set, we can open our new canvas by tapping the Create button at the top right of the screen. Here's a tip, should you make a mistake while following along, you can use a two finger tap to undo. And if you accidentally undo an action, you can use the three finger tap to redo each step with each tap. Now that we're inside our project, we will first select our colour. Do this by tapping the colour button at the top right of the screen. At the bottom of the colour pop-up window, there are several colour selection options. For now, we will use the disc option. You can use two fingers or a finger and thumb and expand the disc for better visibility. Now double tap in the black area. This will set the color to jet black. Tap the color button again to close it. We will now select the brush we will use for this pattern. Tap the brush icon, find and select calligraphy and select the monoline brush. Tap the brush icon again to close this window and return to the canvas. On the left hand side of the screen are two dials. The bottom dial represents opacity and we need to make sure that this is set to max. And the dial above is the size of the brush and you can set this to any size you like but I will be setting mine to 100 this, I think, gives a reasonable thickness for the outline pattern. Now for the fun part. We'll now create the building blocks for our pattern tiles and templates. Draw a complete circle. Hold the pencil and without lifting it, tap the canvas with your finger and scale up the circle if needed, avoiding going outside the canvas boundary. You can then first release the pencil and then release your finger. Tap the transform tool and on the first row of the pop-up window select uniform. Then on the second row tap snapping. You will need to have magnetics and snapping on and set the distance and velocity to max. Tap snapping to close it. And on the same row, move along and tap fit to canvas. Tap the transform tool to deselect it. Now open the layers panel by tapping the layers icon. Here we will duplicate the circle layer four times. Do this by swiping left on the layer and selecting duplicate. Repeat this three more times. With the top circle selected, tap the transform tool 
and drag the circle up to the left quarter of the canvas until it snaps perfectly. You can use the orange guidelines to check the accuracy. Now deselect it. Go back to the layers icon and select the next circle layer. Tap the transform tool. Repeat the last step but this time we're going to snap it to the top right corner, then deselect it. Select the next circle layer inside the layers panel. Tap the transform tool and drag this to the bottom left quarter of the canvas. And deselect it. Now go back to the Layers panel and select the next circle layer. Tap the Transform tool and snap this one to the bottom right quarter. Then deselect it. Open the Layers panel and merge all five layers together by pinching them together. We now just need to add a finishing touch to the base tile. If you zoom in on each of the four joins, you should notice a few pixels that need to be coloured in. This is where we will fill in each of these four tiny pixels. Be mindful not to go outside the lines. We will then need to duplicate this base tile layer. So going back to the layers panel, duplicate the base tile. Let's hide the bottom tile. To do this, tap the visibility checkbox on the right side of the layer. Then making sure the top visible tile is selected, here we want to go to the colour button and drag it into any of the four eye shapes inside the circle. But before releasing the pencil, drag it to the right so that the shape is full completely. Zoom in to check the pixels are fully coloured in. Do this with the three remaining shapes. When you've completed this step and you're happy with it, we want to duplicate this filled in tile. With the top tile selected, tap the transform tool, then drag it left to an exact half. Then deselect it. Go back to the layers panel, select the next layer, Tap the transform tool, then drag and snap it to the right half of the canvas. Then deselect the layer. Go back to the layers panel and merge the two halves together with the pinching method. But if this is a pain, with one of the layers selected, swipe right on the other layer you want to merge with. Select group double tap new group and select flatten. Unhide the bottom tile by tapping the visibility checkbox. Swipe right on the layer and group the two layers together. Double tap new group and rename this group to base tiles. Duplicate this group and we will need to collapse, hide and lock the bottom group. By swiping left, select lock and hide it. You can duplicate this locked group whenever you need to create the pattern again and create all kinds of variations.
Now we will work with the tiles inside the visible group. Let's start with our outline tile. Tap, hold and drag it up, above and outside the group. Tap the base tiles group if not already selected, then add a new layer. When adding a new layer it will always place directly above the layer that is currently selected. So by tapping the group layer first, the new layer will place on top of the group but underneath my outline tile, which is where I want it to be. This is a useful tip when you have many layers to work with. Tap and rename this layer to background colour. And for now, we will fill this background layer in white. Using the same method we used before, tap the colour button, expand the disc, and this time, double tap inside the white area. Then drag the colour onto the layer to fill it. Now we need to duplicate the outline tile three times. Then selecting one tile at a time, scale each one down to each of the four quarters of the canvas. When done, merge all four scaled down tiles together. Repeat this process until you are happy with the scale of the pattern. Next, add a new layer. Rename this layer to Pattern Colour. Then set this layer to Clipping Mask. Any colour you drag onto this layer will recolour the pattern perfectly each and every time. And easily change the background colour by selecting the background layer and filling it with any colour of your choice. And to complete the template for this pattern, go to the layers panel and with any of the top three layers selected, swipe right on the remaining two and select group. Tap and rename this group to outline template. You will be able to use this template again and again, saving you lots of time should you want many colour variations. Now, collapse and hide the group. Add a new layer and rename to background colour. Then go to the filled in shape layer inside the base tiles group then tap, hold and drag it up and above this new background colour layer. Then delete the empty group by swiping left and tap delete. Now, with this filled shape, if you are going to keep it one colour then we will repeat the same process we did for the outline pattern. But if you want different colour variations you might want to consider that now before we scale it down as it will be harder to change once they're scaled down and flattened. Here are a couple of approaches to changing the colour at this stage using my favourite colour changing method, the clipping mask. First, add four new layers. Set all four layers to clipping mask. Then 
Then fill each layer with a colour. And working with one clipping mask layer at a time, move three of the layers to any of the four quarters of the canvas. Then merge the shape with the clipping mask layers. This is a way to colour your shape into four separate colours. You can add even more colours into the mix by duplicating the shape layer and repeating the process. Another way to add different colours is to add a layer above the shape layer and set it to clipping mask. Drag a colour onto the clipping mask layer And merge the two layers. Duplicate the shape and repeat to create four different coloured shapes. Now we scale down each of the four shapes to each of the four quarters of the canvas. Now merge all four layers. Duplicate the flattened layer three times and repeat the scale down process until you are happy with your pattern size. When you're happy with your pattern, you can add a new layer above the new pattern layer and set it to clipping mask. Tap and rename to pattern colour. Any colour you drag onto this layer will transform your pattern to a one colour pattern. Group these layers and rename the group to Fill Template. Using any of the techniques in this pattern means you have this pattern ready at your disposal whenever you need it. I really hope you enjoyed this seamless pattern tutorial and that you gained value from it. If you enjoyed it enough to want to make more, please check out the rest of my easy to follow tutorials and I'll see you over there. And until next time, keep creating and bye for now.